Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mark, greetings Mac Warriors. Welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. This is TGB speaking and we are running the Marauder 3 R today in an ER medium laser and rotary AC5 configuration that I believe I haven't shown so far. And I've had some pretty good results with that, so let's go ahead and go right into the game right here in this desert canyon landscape. And what I'm seeing right now is I'm not seeing any enemies, and that's good. Well, yeah, it is good so far. Enemy assault mechs moving over there in Delta 3. So I think they will go ahead and move towards the ramp, and that's perfect for us. And by the way, if you enjoy this video, always make sure to punch that like button that there, like there's no tomorrow. Alright, so moving forward right here, this leaves us in a perfect position. We have a right torso mounted set of rotary AC5s and we should be able to make very very good use of them as soon as the enemy actually moves up here on that ramp. That should be around 400 or 500 meters, so that's perfect range. Absolute maximum range maybe, but still perfect range. And we can really really hurt the enemy from here. So let's see, there we go. Let's lay into that Hellbringer with our ear mediums. Hit the rest of them a little bit more as well. And if they're not entertained now, I don't know what's going on. And entertained in this case definitely means distracted. They will have to actually go ahead and take some time to look at me because I'm annoying. I'm annoying. Hey, I'm annoying. <laughs> okay, let's not look the joke too much. By the way, yep, that was the power of right torso mounted weapons in the Marauder. Very good hard points. Okay, and see, the enemy is actually fanning out. There's a Hellbringer coming for us. Let's see if we can't convince him to not come for us. Okay, here we go. Even Jagger also took some nice damage, but it's fine. We need to make sure that we keep annoying the enemy and leave them at a point where they have to worry about us constantly. Yeah, the Hellbringer actually wants us. <laughs> he doesn't like us very much, but that's okay. That's okay. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Just go ahead and annoy them and distract them at this point, because they can't really afford to ignore us. Two Rec 5s are really, really dangerous at this range, especially if they hit the rear torso. So, <laughs> case in point, that was an assault mech. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and look over here. There's a battle master slowly marching in, but he's so far away he can't do anything at this point, so he's probably AFK. Let's lay into the back of that awesome. Uh, we didn't get him, unfortunately. Heat is wrecking up quite a bit, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and use the Rec 5s the next time. Hello. Oop, okay, something sees me. I don't care. I'm just gonna lay into the awesome right now. Come on. Okay, no kill. Fine. Okay. That might be the battle monster that I saw coming. It's not doing that much damage. Let's have a look at the team stats. Three to three kills right now. Nah. That's not looking too good. Oh. At least our teammates are pushing forward a little bit more now. So that's good. And the enemy is now caught in a very bad position down there on the ramp at Delta 4, Delta 3. There is zero cover over there, so they can't really do much, so this is going to be a slaughterhouse for them down there. By the way, if you haven't done so yet, join the TT Brigade and hop onto our Discord server, talk to me, talk to the other viewers and community members and drop with them, or with me, like we did just a few days ago, and uh, that was pretty cool. And there's also some videos of those team drops coming up in the near future. Okay. Now, as you can clearly see at this point, we couldn't do much from this position anymore. So right now it's actually time to move up and try to tank a little bit more for our team, as well as make sure that we get some more kills. And I'm just trying to find a way where I can actually wiggle my Fat Marauder ass up somewhere. And I think this might be a spot where we can do it. Let's see if we can wiggle through. Yep. Yep, that is pro mech piloting right there. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, Hunchback 4P coming in. He's just got one medium laser. Yeah, let's go ahead and destroy him. Boom, there we go. Something else over there with PCM. That's fine. There is the enemy, even Jaguar, coming in. And we take him out. He was already very damaged in the CT. The Hellbringer looks like he is dead. And that's just an Arctic Cheetah, I believe, that's just running. Okay. Keep running, little cheetah. Keep running. Because in the end, you will not escape. You won't escape the inner sphere justice. Or, you know, something like that. So, 
I think that was a pretty nice showcase of the power of this build if you can actually go ahead and flank the enemy and have some time to... Whoa! Battlemaster! Now I found this guy. Unfortunately we didn't get the kill, but that's fine. Let's go into override, 100% heat. Okay, maybe shut down now before we explode. There's no need to kill ourselves over one ugly cheetah. Would have loved to get the kill on that, but you know. Let's see. Let's see if you're faster than a Warhammer. Oh, we're not faster. Let's see if you're faster on the kill. Legs are red. Come on, Rex. Here we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep shooting. Keep firing, assholes. Damn it. Okay, here we go. By the way, that was a quote from Spaceballs, not an insult. All right. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at the stats from this game before we do something crazy. Okay, 3 killing blows, 8 assists, 1 solo kill, 2 kill most damage dealt, 650 damage done, and 5 components taken out. Not too bad, but I think the main takeaway from this was you can be very, very, very annoying if you position yourself correctly with this. I know what I'm talking about. Being hit by Rotor AC5s is not pleasant. It's not so much that the damage, which is still pretty good, it's more the annoyance factor of something just chipping away at your armor, and considerably chipping away at your armor on a per second basis, and that just doesn't feel good. So there's a psychological aspect to it. Alright, now for some reason we're here on Polar Highlands, I think the potatoes have won the road again, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and join up with our teammates here, try and see what we can actually take out. What is that? It's small, it's tiny, and it's annoying, but it's okay. Missiles coming in. TTP face aggro. No! Shoot somebody else, please! By the way, as you can see it, I changed the build a little bit. This one actually has AMS. <laughs> okay. Kodiak free with four Gauss rifles. I don't think it's a viable build anymore because of the fact that you can't shoot the four at the same time. You have to actually alternate them in groups of two. You can still some do some good damage, but... Uh, I think it loses out against the uh, UAC 5 UAC 10 build. Well, well maybe we should try, go ahead and try it sometime. Okay. Whoa, hello! Did you see what I saw? I think there was a UAV going up, and that's not good for us. That would actually be painful. Now, where is that UAV? UAV is down. Thank you. Perfect. Teammate with a PPC and a quick trigger finger took down the UAV. Very good. If you see enemy UAVs and you have arms, or you can actually hit it, Make sure to make it a priority, otherwise your teammates are fodder for LRMs. Denying the enemy intel is very important. Also, LRMs. Also, airstrike. <laughs> good, good thing that I went away from there. Alright. Let's see, we have something on our left. Let's go ahead and meet that target up left in person, ask for some team assistance, and let's go ahead and lay into... Whoa! Kodiak coming in, UAC-5, UAC-10s! But we have our team back up right here, and the White Wan strikes, and the enemy falls. Alright, took some damage. Uh, guys, don't chunk up like that, please. That's not good. Alright, so, enemy scout just going ahead and being annoying and scouting for the enemy team and keeping us in missile locks. That's not nice. So, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. This, I believe, is the Kodiak with the Gauss Rifles. But he won't be able to Gauss much if we actually go ahead and take out his side torsos. Yep, one side torso down already, his CT is open, this one is fodder. And I... I need to start walking now because I'm getting a lot of damage in my face. More ECM, more guys flanking. That's okay. You can flank all you want, as long as you don't actually partake in the fighting. Uh, that's one problem of the um, rotary AC5s. I find the projectiles, they feel a little bit slow, and the fact that you have to actually press down the uh, trigger button actually means that it's very hard to hit if enemies are moving fast on a very long range. But my legs don't look that well. It's three kills against two, but we still gotta do something here, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can actually see some enemies. and. Use our 43% mech to lead the push, because apparently somebody needs to lead, so lead we shall. Timberwolf, LB20, SRM6s, he is taking a lot of fire, that was very nicely done. We take out the enemy cicada, asking for some more help to go in on the Timberwolf. Side torso, open, and down he goes. 
Nightshire, LRM15s, there we have our perpetrator. Oh, <laughs> and there is the other perp, that's a high level 2C, also with LRMs probably. The Lurm Boats, the happy, happy Lurm Boats. Alright, bye bye Nightshire. Now, let's engage override. Let's just make sure we don't take too much damage. Oh, we just look a leg, lose a leg, that's fine. Enemy laying into us again. But here is the team now. Cyclops taking some damage from us. We lay into the enemy grasshopper. It dies. The other enemy mech dies as well. And we win the match. Why? Because in the end we actually engaged just standing there. What just just standing there and took all the enemy lurms to our faces. Okay, let's have a look at the stats. Three killing blows, nine assists, one kill most damage dealt, 650 damage done, and ten components taken out. So Again, not a crazy match, but we took some damage for the team and we made sure that the team actually pushed together. And that was more important at this point. Let's have a quick look at the build. As you can see, pretty straightforward. I chose a standard 280 engine to be able to fit all of this into it. We've got two rotary AC5s in the right torso, ER medium lasers, two each in the right and left arm, one double heatsink in the right arm in this case, and the rest is just filled with Rec 5 ammo and three other double heat sinks, standard armor and endo steel structure. That puts us to only a speed of about 60.5ish, but that's fine, we don't need that much speed, what we need more is the ability to position ourselves properly. If you look at the skills right here for the Marauder 3, uh, it's pretty simple actually. We've got the enhanced UAC Rack 1 and 2, and of course magazine capacity, that's all you need for the firepower tree. And other than that, you pretty much just take survival, mobility, half a tree or so, as always. And then you can take some auxiliary stuff or operation stuff, and you should be pretty fine. So, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will be seeing you guys soon. TTB out!